Hi, in the SEO Clarity Deep Dive training, uh, we will be walking through the various capabilities of SEO Clarity, um, in particular using different tools within the research grid. So to start, um, SEO Clarity is one of our main SEO research and reporting tools. Um, we use it for a variety of things, uh, such as creating and pulling SEO reports, such as monthly reports, keyword reports, etc., analyzing keyword portfolios for client websites and competitors, performing keyword research, analyzing backlink portfolios, performing crawls of websites, uh, performing content gap analyses, and more. So first up, within the research grid is keywords. So using keywords, you can pull the keyword portfolio of any website um, you can enter the domain and pull all of the keywords that a website ranks for. Uh, you can uh, pull a specific URL, so looking at all of the keywords that a specific page is ranking for. Or you can enter a keyword and get different information on the search volume, seasonality, etc. of a specific keyword. So Topic Explorer is what we do most of our keyword research in. Um, so you, to start, you can enter a keyword or multiple keywords that you would like to research, um, and it will pull the average search volume, the cost per click, uh, the search volume trend throughout the year, and more for these different keywords. Um, and once you search, you can apply different filters, uh, such as the, you know, the search volume, the search intent, uh, and more. And this also will break down, you know, different user intents, as well as the traffic potential for these different keywords. Um, Content Gap is a unique tool that allows you to compare your keyword portfolio with other competitor websites to find any gaps in content where your competitors or these other websites are ranking where your site is not. So you enter... Um, all of the sites that you want to um, compare your website to, uh, where they are ranking, and then in the very bottom, you would put your site, and it will pull um, sort of a Venn diagram of the different keyword portfolios. And going through there, you can see, you know, the different areas where you may not rank that your competitors are ranking, um, and areas where you're ranking where your competitors are not. Uh, this is a super useful tool when coming up with new content ideas, um, in particular for blogs, um, as well as exploring areas of opportunity uh, where competitors are in a space and, and you are not. So, you know, the opportunity to create content um, or create new offerings around these different keywords uh, to boost the keyword portfolio of your own website and help get inspiration from your competition. Next up is AnswerBox. So AnswerBox is a tool within the research grid that lets you see which keywords your website is displaying in the answer box for on the Google SERP. So the answer box is that box at the top, um, you know, the featured result in Google uh, that's organic. Um, so AnswerBox in the research grid pulls all of these different AnswerBox opportunities. Uh, so um, all of the keywords where your site is ranking for a keyword that triggers an AnswerBox, um, as well as all of the AnswerBoxes that your site is currently winning, as well as the overall traffic potential if your site were to when all of the different answer box um, opportunities where you have a ranking keyword. Um, so this is very helpful when doing um, answer box opportunity audits. So pulling all of the different keywords where your site ranks for ranks decently highly for the answer box, but doesn't win the answer box. Uh, so you can then go ahead and optimize for those keywords, fine tune those pages, and hopefully win those answer boxes. For backlinks, so the backlinks tool allows you to analyze all of the sites that link to your site. Um, so you can use this tool when performing a backlink profile review. Um, so you would enter your website or the root domain and you can pull all of the different um, you know, sites 
uh, linking to yours. Um, there is, you know, more details you can filter by specific domain, uh, as well as, uh, find a timeline for all of the lost and gained backlinks. Um, so this is super helpful when performing a backlink profile review and SEO clarity, uh, provides its own scores for, um, the relative authority of these different backlinks. So Content Fusion is an interesting tool um, that SEO Clarity has created. Um, it utilizes AI to analyze content for specific keywords um, and provide insights for content creation and optimization. So this tool works um, in a few different ways, but so before you create or publish um, a post, you can analyze the content itself and then um, pick out a few keywords that you would like to be ranking for or optimizing for. And then using their AI, um, SEO Clarity will analyze your content um, and pull out, you know, how well your content is doing in incorporating these different keywords within the content, as well as finding um, opportunities for keywords for similar ranking ranking content for these keywords, um, content that they have, so content types. Um, so this is super helpful for optimizing content that's already been created, as well as coming up with new ideas for adding to this content um, because there the tool will also include, you know, people also ask um, or area like topic areas that are uh, typically included in, um, so, you know, pages that are ranking for these keywords. So overall, this is super helpful for when you're, you know, optimizing an old blog post or a newly written blog post. I uh, just want to make sure that, you know, those really important keywords are being targeted correctly. Um, SEO Clarity's AI does a great job of identifying, you know, how how your content is incorporating these keywords and you know areas that, that it could be improved. So moving out of the research grid function, um, going into usability, which is another dropdown um, in the SEO Clarity um, navigation. So usability, um, one, one aspect of us usability or one tool, I should say, uh, is the page speed analysis. Um, so you can schedule and run a page speed analysis of your site that will detect um, any speed issues and give overall scores for both mobile and desktop. Um, so this can either be performed as a one-off, one-time, you know, site speed crawl uh, or can be scheduled as recurring. And then these report, uh, these crawls and analyses can be pulled into monthly reporting in the dashboard section. And um, so this page speed analysis identifies any site speed issues as well as, you know, their size, um, the impact that they're having on your website. And they also break it down into um, importance um, in these issues. Uh, if you know, it's if a page is slow or medium or fast, um, just to give you a better clear picture of your site speed and areas of opportunity or improvement um, where boosting that page speed would be most helpful for your site. Uh, page speed is super important as a Google ranking factor officially. So it's nice that SEO Clarity has an, uh, an option or opportunity to um, incorporate recurring page speed crawls so it's not necessarily a manual thing uh, and you can just analyze the data once it's been pulled uh, because something to keep in mind is if you are doing a one-off speed page speed analysis uh, there's a little bit of lag time where SEO Clarity actually has to go through and crawl you know the site and um, analyze that page speed so it's not a, it's not available right away sometimes it takes a little bit and next is Clarity Audit. So that is similar to PageSpeed. Um, SEO Clarity will perform a crawl of your site uh, and look for any errors. So this is another uh, section where you can set up recurring crawls, uh, which 
sometimes are done on a monthly basis and incorporated into monthly SEO reports uh, just to keep tabs on overall site health um, and if any new errors uh, pop up. So SEO Clarity will give you the list of issues, uh, the number of pages affected for a particular issue, as well as its relative importance. So, you know, any pages that are of high importance will have, you know, will need to be uh, addressed more quickly, perhaps, than um, issues that are of low importance. Uh, so this is, this is nice because it tells you, you know, where you should be focusing on if something's an issue, you know, how big of an issue is it or how large of an issue is it? Um, how many affected pages are there? Uh, what kind of impact is it having? Um, so this can just keep in general tabs on your overall site health um, as well as um, SEO Clarity will keep the different um, audits stored. Um, I believe for a certain period of time so you can go through and compare and see, okay, you know, we fixed these issues. Um, are they, you know, are they fixed? Is the site reflecting um, those, any technical changes that have been made? Um, so yeah, this is a great tool uh, for overall just keeping tabs on your site health and keeping an eye on any issues uh, that might arise. Yeah, so that takes us through uh, SEO Clarity Deep Dive, um, kind of an overview of some of the, the different tools and functions that are available uh, within the platform. So yeah, thank you.